All right. Well, let's get another uh, question about Vince here on the show. This one was sent to Corny Drive Through at gmail.com from Mike Paul. With Jim always being one of the most knowledgeable guys in the business, I'm curious if he has any examples of things that he may have learned or absorbed from Vince while working with him, whether it be on booking, psychology, commentary, anything. We always heard the boys refer to Vince as a genius. And with him feeling like a completely different person now in his later years, I'd be interested in hearing some examples. Another side question to add on top of that, people often said that Vince's genius wasn't in coming up with an idea, it was in making the perfect tweaks to an already existing idea. Any examples of this from Jim? Oh, God. Well, it may not even have been making the perfect tweaks to an existing idea, although he was good at that, but also just which idea to pick to begin with in a lot of cases and or, more importantly, I mean, when he would swing for the fences on this, he could either pick the absolute best person to do something with or he would swing for the fences and strike out with trying something with Warrior over and over or whatever, right? I've mentioned some of the things that I learned from Vince as far as television production and formatting. And we talked about keeping a thread with your main event guys throughout the show to keep the people's interest because they always know that there's something coming up involving somebody they want to see. Vince was Vince was great at getting talent over because he would if he decided he was going to push them, he would push them to the fucking moon and he'd push them right. Now, none of this maybe applies to modern day because I don't know what's going on there these days. But you, look at who, and in some cases what, Vince was able to get over successfully even for a short period of time in his company at various points that you would have thought, holy shit, this ain't never going to work. Um, because he could, it, when he picked and decided that he was going to run with a guy, he wouldn't do it halfway. He would he would give it not just in putting them over in finishes, but in promos and in a, every other way. Getting you know, I know it didn't work, but goddamn you you can't tell me that the Lex Express and the whole Lex Luger push with with almost anybody else wouldn't have worked. And it did work with Lex there for a brief period of time. If he'd have won at SummerSlam, they probably got something out of him short term. But that's when he decided he would do something, he would go all the way with it. He wasn't going to give somebody a little push, and he wasn't going to be a little bit pregnant. It was all or nothing. Vince was never good with finishes. Vince, I, I don't know that I remember Vince ever coming up with a finish to a match. But that's, that's different than who goes over. In, in those days also, he was focused on, and you can still see, I don't know if it's him now or just people that, learn from him, but you can still see that with Roman Reigns. He's not going to do any fucking bullshit jobs like, like that he would be if he was anybody else on the card and the, just the regular comedy writers were in charge because they don't know that winning matters to begin with. Uh, but you can still tell at the top of his card with guys like that, you know, he's not going to have guys doing bullshit jobs even if they have to mow down some of the baby faces. You know, there it just Vince had so much more assuredness to him then. And you talked about him being a captivating TV personality, but he was when he walked in the room, you knew he was there and you looked at that guy like, well, fuck. He may be crazy as a rainbow trout in a car wash, but he owns this whole thing and he's got here for a reason and he can he commands respect and deference. And you'll you'll follow this guy because even if he's leading you over a cliff, he is absolutely goddamn sure that that's the right cliff to go over. It's just a commanding personality that I think they're still all expecting him to have, but he doesn't have it anymore. And the new guys have never seen that Vince and the new writers have never met that Vince. And now everybody's running like, well, we need to act like it's still like it was in the old days. But meanwhile, 
Vince isn't the Vince of 20 years ago, and he don't have Pat Patterson. He don't have Jerry Briscoe. He don't have Jim Ross. He don't have Jim Cornette for whatever that was worth. He don't have Steve Austin and Mankind and The Undertaker and guys that started in the territories that were fucking expert at at wrestling and its psychology. And we're going to try to act like we're doing all those things that we did then, but now it's a completely different company and we're just running off a variety of cliffs in every different direction. It's just different. <laughs> 